Um, this question is about thermal property of matters. Explain in terms of the energy of its molecules. Why the temperature of a pure substance does not change during melting? Um, so during melting, the temperature does not change because energy is required to um, break bound, or you can say to overcome intermolecular force, right? So energy is required to break bound, or you can say overcome intermolecular force. And that's why when you see a heating curve during melting, right, um, this part here remain constant. I mean, remain flat, flat. And the y-axis is temperature. So if temperature remain constant, we know that the kinetic energy also remain constant. And what's changing here is potential energy. So potential energy um, is going to increase. Three S cube at the temperature of zero degree are dropped into a container of, of water at a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. The mass of each S cube is 25 gram, and the mass of the water is 330 gram. The ice melt, um, so the temperature of the water decreases. The thermal capacity of the container is knowledgeable. Define thermal capacity. Um, so thermal capacity is definition is energy required to rise a temperature by one um, degree Kelvin. Energy required to rise temperature one Kelvin not an object. Or you can also say one degree Celsius. Both are fine. Um, state the SI unit of thermal capacity. Um, so the unit is joule per Kelvin. Or you can say it's joule per uh, per degree Celsius. Both are fine. The following data are available. Um, calculate the final temperature of the water when all ice has been melted, assuming that no thermal energy is exchanged between the water and the surrounding. Um, so for this type of problem, you need to know that energy released is always equal to energy absorbed. Right. And in this problem, we know that energy is released by, um, released by water in the container. So, because it says the temperature of water decreases, so we know water is going to release some energy, and those release energy is absorbed by the three ice cube in the container, right? Um, so, now we can do this problem. So, we know that energy released by water is equal to um, sub specific heat capacity of water multiply uh, mass of water and multiply by their change in temperature which is equal to 22 minus T. And this is because here it says the water has an initial temperature of 22 degree. Um, and let's assume that the final temperature is T, which is what the last problem is asking for. Um, and because it releases energy, uh, so the temperature increases. So the final temperature T of water is gonna be less than 22 degree. But since here we wanna know the absolute value, so I'm gonna use 22 subtract T, right? And this is equal to energy absorbed by um, three ice cube. So let me draw a diagram here. Initially, the ice cube is in solid, and then it goes through uh, a phase where uh, intermolecular forces is overcome, and then go to the liquid phase. And here we know that here is temperature. And initially the temperature is zero degree. Zero degree Celsius in this problem. So it's gonna go through this phase, right? To overcome intermolecular force. And in this phase, we need to use the latent heat of fusion first, uh, which is equal to uh, specific latent heat of fusion, fusion of ice, multiply mass of ice. And then we need to calculate energy in this phase when it become completely become water, right? 
So when it completely become water, here is still gonna be zero degree since there is no change in temperature. But in this phase, in the blue line here, we need to use the specific heat capacity of water since the, the, the ice cube is transformed to a liquid phase, multiply by the mass of water, uh, not no, by the mass of um, ice, multiply change in temperature, which is T, since it, since its initial temperature is equal to zero, right? And now we can start to plug in number to solve the problem. So specific heat capacity of water is equal to uh, 4.2 multiplied by 1,000 and then multiply mass of water, which is 330 gram, convert that to kilogram, you divide it by 1,000, multiply by change in temperature, um, and then this is equal to um, energy absorbed by 3 ice cube. So um, specific latent heat of ice is equal to 3.3 multiplied by 10 with the power of 5 multiply by total mass of ice cube. So one ice cube has 25 gram and there are three ice cubes. So the total mass is gonna be equal to 75 gram. And same thing, convert this to kilogram divided by one thousand um, and then calculate their energy when becoming liquid. So it's 4.2 multiplied by one thousand multiply by their mass and convert gram to kilogram and change in temperature, right? And now we have the, this long complicated equation. Um, so the first thing we want to do is simplification. So I'm going to cancel 1,000 uh, divided by 1,000 on both sides. So here it cancels out. And then I'm going to cancel out this term, 10 uh, 10 cubic foot, right? So divided this term, 10 to the fifth power by 1,000 is gonna be equal to 100. And here this term cancels out as well. So now the equation become um, 4.2 multiplied by 330 multiplied by 222 minus t is going to be equal to 3.3 multiply by 100 multiply by 75 is plus 4.2 multiply by 75 multiply by temperature t and you can use your gdc to solve the problem um, the final temperature t is equal to 3.4 with a unit of degree celsius